Hey, what is up guys? Johnny here. Today we'll look at the skills in Shadowgun Legends. I will do some recommendation how you should invest your skill points. Of course, some people will not agree with me. The skills is uh, usually a matter of preferences and play style. Not everyone likes the same stuff, but this build is very efficient for speed farming in Silver Arena, and I'm sure it will help you guys. So first of all, we'll start with the survival skills. Uh, I recommend investing only three skill points in survival. And I recommend waiting for like as late as you can in the game. S survival skills you don't need early game. Like early game, all you're doing is farming the campaign, just going and doing all these blue missions. And at the start, you can pretty much run and kill everything without taking much damage. But later in the game, when you reach the end, uh, the latest missions or the later missions uh, in the silver arena, you will take a lot of damage. The enemies get tougher, and you will need a bit of extra survivability. So with three skill points in survival, you get access to super heal, something like that. Yeah, super health, 15% uh, extra health. But one thing I really like is auto heal boost. So your uh, shield will activate faster and it will heal you faster. So a little extra survivability means you're not always going to be one-shotted by everything. Your teammates won't have to revive you all the time. And you can run around and heal and like stay in the action. Next up, I want to look at the combat tree. Uh, the combat skills, I recommend investing 4 points at least, you can go with more, you will have some extra points. But first of all, I want to talk about the sentry gun, guys. The sentry gun is not a noob skill at all, it is efficient even in the end game, uh, silver arena farming. The sentry gun is a great source of distraction, when you're in trouble and you spawn that sentry gun, usually the enemy will go for the gun instead of you, that will take a bit of heat off, it will give you a chance to heal. Uh, keep you alive but it's also dealing a decent source of damage guys 40 damage at the max level it lasts 30 seconds uh unless it dies super fast but it does deal some damage it is good i recommend going for it the next couple skills are pretty cool more ammo more accuracy it's not bad at all but i want to look at that one guys the fourth one is the stunner skill it's an active skill you have to activate cooldown super short 40 second cooldown you can activate that uh, a lot guys this thing is uh very very good in silver arena against the toughest enemies it will stun the enemy you it will save you for real and i'm thinking about the, the sword the dancer or something like that the twin blade enemy so this guy is relentless it will go for you it will not stop and you try to put some damage on this enemy it will run after you and when it starts spinning you can activate the stunner skill it will cancel the skill it will cancel the animation and it will stay in place you will have time to deal some damage and run away uh trying to stay alive and give this skill some time to recharge the fifth one is pretty interesting the sparta kick is really really fun uh it's not uh that much needed i think but it will help you for sure against the enemies that rush you 50 percent activation activation chance at the max level and i keep the best for last the agility skills my favorite skills are all there guys it's all about uh mobility and speed so check out uh the number two and number three Ultra reload, super fast, 30% extra reload speed. You don't want to spend all that time reloading your guns. You want to be in the action. You want to be shooting. So cut 30% off your reload speed. That will uh, put more damage out there. Then it's movement speed, 10% movement speed. Super cool, especially in speed farming. And then, guys, supercharger. To me, it's got to be one of the best skills in the game everyone's using that in silver arena 100 percent damage boost for a whole 10 seconds guys so that means when you see elites when you see the orange when you see the bosses you activate that you go for the head you unload like crazy these enemies will melt like they're regular enemies okay you will see the difference this skill is crazy and that's why so many people use that so i recommend putting the skill points in agility and go get that supercharger skill and then guys you will look around you will have some extra points like right now there's only 18 skill points available so you do not have access to all the skills yet 
but they will add extra skill points uh, in the near future. It will be obtainable uh, in missions, they said. So don't worry, guys, more to come. And at this point, there is no way to respec. You cannot reset your skill points, but I'm sure they will do something in the future. You will probably be able to reset your skill points and change your class. But look around, there's a lot of very interesting skills. And one that uh, caught my attention at the start, the first time I got the game and look at the skill tree, invisibility tech, it says you will be invisible for 15 seconds and two minutes cooldown. I think it's very nice, but you will need survival skills level 13. And if you put 13 skill points in survival skills, that will hurt you a lot in agility and combat. So even though this thing looks super cool, I really don't recommend going with 13 points in the skill tree for real. Because like there's a couple cool things here like luck and I don't know uh, selling. But it's not skills that I find super useful. Uh, it's more individual stuff. It's not helping your team much. And last one I want to check with you guys, Gunslinger skill, you have to try that. Uh, it needs a bit of investment, but still, since you're already uh, investing in agility anyways, Gunslinger, double the damage on pistols, 10% pistol accuracy, and 5% uh, reload speed on the pistol. This thing is like super crazy. This is one of the best skills in the game. Some people are uh, doing the whole silver arena with only pistols, guys. That's how good this is. You get a dis decent pistol with a uh, decent uh, fire rate and some decent magazine. And that will carry you guys. So you have to try that if you have extra skill points. If you don't know what to do, well, this is what I did. And I don't regret at all. This is very, very good. So guys, that will be it for now. Of course, if you're new to the game... Uh, it looks like a lot of stuff. Uh, there's a lot of different skills. There's so many things you could try. But it's easy to make a mistake. And once you select something, you cannot go back, unfortunately, for now. But like I said, I'm sure there will be a way in the future. And I'm sure they will add a couple more skill points in the near future. So once again, thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you think this was helpful, leave a like. Subscribe to the channel, turn on your notifications. Don't forget to watch my other videos. I will be back soon. Take care.